Apple's launch of iOS 7 seems to be just a month away. The Sony Onami is rumored to bring more than just a 20 megapixel camera. And believe it or not, Google has blocked the Windows Phone A YouTube app once again. I'm Jaime Rivera, and every time I feel like pulling out my Windows Phone from the drawer, something goes wrong. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the official news. Windows Phone 8 GDR2 is an update that a lot of people are waiting for. It brings a lot of added functionality to the platform, and we know that it's being dubbed the Nokia Amber update that came with the Lumia 925 when it was launched. But for the other rest of you that don't have the Lumia 925, this update is now available to almost all of you. Links in the description for the full list of phones that get it, and also for the full list of benefits that you get when you update to Amber or GDR2. And speaking of Windows Phone 8, you're not going to believe this. I mean, I was supposed to report today that Microsoft and Google had now come to truth with their YouTube application, and they even posted this lengthy document stating how well their partnership worked. But guess what? Well, they published the application, and now it's being blocked again by Google. Uh, and now we've got another lengthy document from Microsoft stating how bad this relationship is. So let's see the description for the document, and so sorry. And if you're interested in an HTC One in red in the United States, well, you better be on Sprint as the carrier has now confirmed that it will be an exclusive to the carrier. And they're also going to be selling it in part of their buy one, get one free deals, you know, those BOGO deals. So that's actually a good thing if you are on Sprint, obviously. And speaking of that, I mean, if you thought that the Moto X was the only smartphone out there that you could customize, well, actually, HTC was planning on bringing a similar project and they ditched it for some reason in the past. Looks as description for the full story on what happened and why HTC decided to ditch it. Now let's talk about Sony. We finally get some leaked photographs of the Sony Onami in white even being compared to the iPhone 5 and yes this thing is big but even bigger is the fact that apparently this phone is not only bringing a 20 megapixel camera. If you remember in the past we were reporting that this phone was supposed to be recording video in 4k and apparently these trusted sources now confirm that it's coming so imagine 4k video. How big is your SD card going to have to be? And finally, for the hot news of the day, those of you waiting for iOS 7, well, there is this official source that has this unofficial uh, timetable stating that it will be launched in the first couple of weeks of September, which matches the previous rumors of the next generation iPhones being launched during the first weeks of September. You know, it kind of makes that match. But aside from that, there is also this new patent from Apple that is finally adopting NFC. You know that Apple patents a lot of stuff they don't really do eventually, but stay tuned for that, though. That leads me to the question of the day. I mean, seriously. It's been a couple of years since NFC is in the market. It's kind of hard to see Apple doing it now. So the question is, do you really use NFC? Do you see it as a worthy feature of your phone? In my particular case, honestly, I rarely ever, if ever, use NFC. And I have tech tiles from Samsung almost everywhere in the house. So leave us a comment down below. Is NFC something you'd be looking forward to in your next smartphone, especially your next iPhone? Friends, as always, you know the drill. If you want earlier news of everything that's happening in the smartphone and top world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.